What's up, y'all? Sunday story time with Bomber. 9, 22, 24. Dang, September's rolling quickly. We've got our cruise in coming up the 28th. Then we have one more after that. We have our ugly truck show the 18th. And then our last cruise in is the, I think, 20, yeah, 26. That'll be the last one of the season. Um, the only thing, so we do them rain, sleet, snow. The only thing that would stop that one is if we get any kind of snow here and there's salt on the roads because uh, that salt and stuff is just horrible. So we don't, we don't do that around here. Got a couple of projects I worked on. I did a video, picked up some uh, free furniture that we're going to spray paint. Do that, uh, flip that on Marketplace. It's pretty cool looking. Looks like it's from the 70s is my guess, just from the style, maybe early, mid 80s. But I definitely remember that from the 70s. And then also picked up a really cool, <coughs> excuse me, really cool pipe vise. It's a cool color of blue that I scrubbed down with, uh, with cleaner. You can kind of see it right there. And then I painted a sign <coughs> for the shop with stencils, and it looks absolutely horrible. Um, so I'm little or no competition for Sil Stilson sign and paint or local painter. So this is going to be kind of short and sweet. I got some other projects I got to jump on, and it's about dinner time, and I'm hungry. Um, so we'll go to the Block Party Corner Port uh, after we look at what I've been doing. Y'all have a blessed day, and hey, do me a favor, y'all. Pray for our country. We're going to need it uh, as the months uh, of doom and despair is coming up. Love y'all. Thanks for watching. Appreciate y'all. Sometimes these ain't Sunday story times. They're like Sunday story time slash show and tell. So this is me putting this thing together, scrubbing it down, and getting it nice. Right, we picked this up for $30 on Marketplace. And I have a couple of them, but I like that this had a stand that I could move it around and use it without having to have another base or anything like that. It also has this for bending lightweight stuff. The Vice is a Reed Manufacturing Company, Erie, Pennsylvania. And then the only stamping on this says American. So we're going to clean this thing up, see how that paint looks. We might leave it as it is or he might refurbish it. We'll just see once we knock all the grease off of it. All right, y'all, scrubbing that thing down looks real nice. Got a nice little backdrop of the old 76 D300 dually in the back. That one I love and can't wait to get the brakes fixed where we can use it on the farm. Has a slant six. This will clean up rather nice. I need either a third water hose or to get uh, water out here at the garage. I have like a 250 gallon water tank and I do want to hook it up so we can use it during the summer to water our chickens and such and have mobile water in case we have a fire or anything and do that. That base is gonna take a little bit more scrubbing in here. I don't know where my small brush is, but I will have to find it. But I think this will be cool. This is kind of a cool color.
I like it. This turned out way nicer than what it looked like to begin with. I do, this will be super freaking handy. See, that cleaned up pretty nice. We might try to straighten that out, but just knocking off the grease made a huge difference. And then now you can see where it says American on it. I do need to scrub that base off, but I'll let it set for a while. i uh, do another light scrubbing on it. And then I'm not gonna bolt those up because I've got a place to store it until I need it, but that turned out super sweet. Got some bonus cleaning. I picked this sign up a couple of years ago for like 10 bucks. So I'm no sign painter. I'm gonna try to do a little Bomber's Garage logo on this. I'm gonna cheat and use a stencil. That's what we come up with a sign. And uh, it's gonna go outside the garage. Once I get that mounted, I'll show y'all where. And then there is that vise. We picked up some bolts today to mount it. Uh, so don't need, y'all know how to do bolts. But yeah, this thing turned out nice. It's a nice little mobile setup where I can take it outside for the once every two years that I actually need it to do any pipe work. And that pipe work will be happening once I start building some of those lamps uh, out of some of the stuff I have, like the vintage Evan Rood and Mercury uh, boats that I have, boats, uh, boat motors that I have, making those into cool lamps. So that's what I'm talking about is these, the Johnson, the Evan Rood, these will be made into cool lamps one day. So that's when we'll use that to put the pipe together. Even though we don't need it, it is nice. There's a picture of Millie. And there it is mounted. I used inch and a half by half inch grade eight bolts. And uh, we're just gonna leave them like that. But there's that. All right, we picked up two of these side of the road. I took the pulls off of them, cleaned them, had to really scrub them. I used glass cleaner and then just got them clean. And then we were going with this uh, black or wood metal plastic more canyon black. So I think that's gonna turn out real nice. And then they have a uh, like fake stone top. So that's the other one. That's what it looked like originally. So two end tables and here is a uh, coffee table. And as y'all can see, they are super freaking dusty. There's a cat print. So we're cleaning those up, removing the hardware. I'm gonna do those like a bronze. Um, and these aren't real wood, it's like fiberboard. So I'm gonna clean these up, get them all this uh, canyon black, the satin, and then I'll do a little flippy boy on them. So that is a project we are working on. So right now is all we have is the money and uh, time and then some, uh, the paint, a couple of cans of paint for them. And then just scrubbing the crap out of them because they were super, super, super dusty. Turned out pretty nice and slick, y'all. Gonna do another coat on this after this dries a little bit. Um, get it in for the evening, let it dry, and then tomorrow probably do one more coat, any spots that I missed. So, turned out pretty nice. And uh, unfortunately, we got a freaking bug in there. All right, we're gonna bring this in. I did get that bug off, he didn't mess it up. It was pretty dry, he was just chilling. Gave him a little thump. Tomorrow, we're probably gonna take it out, look at it in the sunlight and give it another coat and then paint the inside. But that gloss black uh, 
Kenyan black turned out freaking nice. That's a new favorite color, y'all. What's up, y'all? I figured tonight I would do the block party corner port in my Woodland Camo Liberty overalls, where I'd kind of look farmerish. So as you can see, I also brought a prop. So you can see it's getting pretty, let me undo this, pretty dried out and it's getting ready to, for a uh, harvest. Beautiful sunset. Also did a video uh, the other evening. We had a great sunset. It was absolutely gorgeous out here. The wind was blowing the corn and it was kind of making a cool noise. I thought that was pretty freaking awesome. Um, Lindsay and I, and Mrs. Bomber, went to a figure eight uh, race, demo race. That was my first one last weekend and we had a blast. Uh, figure eight demo is the shizzy, y'all. Especially the uh, rear wheel drive with the V8s. Our buddy Ryan that comes to our car show, he has a really cool LTD uh, with a big block in it. He actually raced in it, so we come out to support him. I think he got third place. Uh, it was his second race, the first one. Both of those he did in a borrowed car. Uh, the first one he got first place. So that video is coming out, I think, this Wednesday. So I also brought a prop. I brought my pitchfork, uh, which I'm about to take my pitchfork and floss it up with some boiled linseed oil. Uh, we'll kind of do that as a little video for next Sunday. I don't know what a pitchfork um, has to do with corn because I don't think that you use a pitchfork in any type of corn stuff. We use it for cleaning the hay and straw out of the uh, chicken coops. It works fantastic for that and leave the base layer down. But I thought it would look cool. Like that picture of the dude and the woman. Anyway, I'm getting off. Anyway, I brought a prop, I'm wearing my overalls. Feel very farmer-like. Uh, we saw Jason, who is the owner of the farm, him and his wife. Uh, and he told me, hey, when the combine's rolling, buddy, come out, you can ride in it. Uh, so we'll get, hopefully, we will be out here when he's doing that. I'll bring him some community coffee and we'll get a from the combine view of harvesting this corn. So they, they harvest it when it gets to a certain moisture content. I don't know what that is, but we're going to find out. So appreciate y'all watching. Uh, enjoy the next 30 or 40 seconds of some uh, beautiful sunset. Beautiful sunset and some... Uh, Nice little corn rustling. Man, aren't pitchforks cool? I freaking love this thing. Uh, I've had a pitchfork before. It was short with a D handle, but this one I picked up at a garage sale for like five bucks. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a little love with some boiled linseed oil. Just sand it down lightly, make it real nice. Yeah. All right, that is the Black Party Corn Report for this Sunday. Appreciate y'all watching. And I guess uh, if Black Party approves, I'll start doing these in my overalls uh, if we have another one with me standing out here. I don't know when uh, when he starts harvesting this, I'm just going to go out in whatever I'm wearing. All right, y'all have a wonderful week. Thank y'all. And then look forward this Wednesday for the figure eight racing. I might put a tiny little clip of it at the end. Y'all be good. God bless y'all.